In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss trapezoids. A trapezoid has four sides, one, two, three, and four. Top and bottom of this trapezoid are parallel. It means the lines are the same distance all the way across, and they also never touch. I'll put that back. The two sides are called bases, and they are parallel. The sides that are not parallel are called legs. So trapezoids can take on a lot of different shapes. They can have a shape like this, where the top and bottom, the bases, are parallel. They can also have a shape like this, a little irregular shape. And the top and bottom are parallel, again, the bases. In the brown trapezoid, this time the sides are going to be parallel, not the top and bottom. Again, but we'd still call them the bases. So trapezoids can have several different shapes. And in particular, the most interesting trapezoid is isosceles trapezoid. It has four sides. What makes an isosceles trapezoid isosceles is that the two legs are the same length. So the leg of the left side is the same length as the right side as they measure them out. So they're the same length. We would say the legs are congruent or the same. The orange angles, the angles at the base, and I'll draw that in, the orange angle on that side and the orange angle on the right side, they're also congruent or the same. And the angles at the top or the green angles, they're also the same or congruent. It's kind of hard to see those are the same, so let me rotate the trapezoid over like that. Now you can easily see that the bottom angles now are green, and they're the same, and of course the top angles remain the same as well. Let me rotate this back. The diagonals are also the same length of an isosceles trapezoid. The diagonals are the same length. go. Geometry and algebra and mathematics has a special notation. And I'm going to tell you about that now, how this would be noted or notation. So we have to learn some notation. A, B, C, D is how we would label this trapezoid. Line A, B is parallel to line C, D. And the symbol between there, those two dashed lines or those two lines, means parallel. I can also say line DC, and it's the same thing. Textbooks and your teacher probably label it with little arrows, also meaning these are parallel. These are the two lines I'm talking about. Now, if I mark them with a little hash, that means that they're congruent. So line AD is congruent to line BC. Notice that little symbol between means congruent. These two orange angles are the same. Let me move that so I have a little bit more space now. Angle ADC Angle ADC is congruent to angle BCD. The green angles are the same as well at the top. Angle DAB is congruent to the next one here, which is going to be ABC. Since your book is typically in black and white, what textbooks usually do is they'll put like two lines on 
the top angles to show that they're equal. And that's just the definition of a trapezoid, and I will do some problems with numbers soon.